I'm Elaine Kazimierczuk and I'm an artist and one of my favourite things to do is to paint wildflower meadows. Here's a couple I've made recently. Look, there's one of a coast on the uh, Channel Island called Alderney. Here's another one. These are oil paintings but what I'm going to set you to do as a challenge is to make a thing called a collage, which is made by sticking scraps of paper onto a background and you get a really cool effect like this. You can stick lots of flowers on, lots of stalks and grasses to get an effect to make your own wildflower meadow. Okay, let's have a look at what you're going to need. You're going to make an A3 size collage, so you need an A3 piece of paper, but um, you can join two pieces of A4 together or just cut out an A3 size from some other paper that you happen to have. It doesn't have to be white even. You need a glue stick, a pen, a pair of scissors. You need some cardboard, like a cereal packet, um, because you're going to use that to glue the templates onto. Um, but most fun of all is finding all the scraps that you're going to um, do the cutouts from. And um, I've got a selection of magazines here. I do happen to have some plant magazines, but anything is fine. Um, I'm going to um, do a demonstration of the buttercup field, buttercup meadow. Um, so I'm looking out for um, photos with lots of yellows in and I need greens as well. So there's a, a lemon drizzle cake there with lots of yellows in that. So I think I'll, I'll use that one. Um, there's an old uh, catalogue from an exhibition. So um, I'll probably cut some of that up. Um, magazines and so on. Um, there's that Marilyn Monroe image. There's lots of yellows in that. That'll look interesting. Um, more cookery pictures. Some really deep yellows in those eggs, a banana cake there, a piece of graph paper. So all kinds of things. It's great fun hunting for um, scraps that you can use. So uh, assemble a whole pile of stuff and then you can make your, uh, your collage pieces. Okay. Right now we're going to prepare the background. Um, this is my meadow. It's a buttercup meadow which is very near where I live. Um, I've printed it but I've also got it up on my laptop and you can uh, use either um, images if you want to save paper then you can just have an image up there on, on a, a screen. You want to make a strip of blue at the top this is acrylic paint you can use any paint you've got poster paints fine this is your sky as you can see in my picture, there's very little sky showing. It's mostly hedge. So I'm going to add that on as well. And then I've got some of ochre, a dark green. I want it to be quite messy. I don't want anything too tidy here because it's only for the background. I'm going to stick an awful lot of stuff on top of this. Right, so there's your background. Okay, um, we'll leave that to dry. But whilst it's drying, we can go on to make the templates. can see that um, I've actually put some templates for some stalks and some stems but to be quite honest I think you could probably cut those strips out freehand. There we are. Now that's got to dry thoroughly. You don't try and cut it out until the glue is really dry. Okay and then we can mix 
some flowers. All right. Right, now we're going to make the flowers. I've already cut out some templates here. Um, so uh, you just simply cut each of those out and make a whole selection of templates. And because I'm doing a buttercup meadow, I'm going to choose the buttercupy shaped pieces. I won't use all of these. For instance, there are no daisy type um, flowers in my meadow, so I'm not going to use that one. Uh, but these are all a bit buttercupy, so those are the sort of shapes I want, and that's a kind of buttercup leaf shape. I want lots of leaves and lots of flowers, so those are the sort of shapes that I, I want to use. I'll probably come back and get some more in a minute. Okay. You'll have picked out some nice scraps of paper and other things. Here's that foamy stuff again. Um, some plain paper and some patterned pieces out of magazines. So now we're going to choose um, a piece of scrap of paper and I'm going to make lots and lots of these. It doesn't take very long actually, uh, but just hang on in there and make loads. I think that will make a very interesting leaf when you've stuck it in with all the others. Here's a lot that I've already made. Lots of leaves, lots of buttercup flowers. Keep them in sort of size order if you can when you've made the, uh, the flowers because you're going to put them on in a different order. Um, there's some nice, those nice Marilyn Monroe pieces that you can see. The sticky toffee pudding or whatever it was, lemon drizzle cake one. So um, we're ready to start sticking some on, I think. I've been getting on with making the collage and as you can see I've glued some flowers in at the top here and lots and lots of stalks and leaves. Um, I cut out some little tiny fiddly bits of um, paper there uh, which aren't on the templates so you can make those yourself if you want to. Um, right so let's see how I'm doing it. I'm building them up from the top corner. Here's a couple of fiddly ones look so that they look, you can see how fiddly this is, like the ones in the picture. Look, there's the photo I'm working from. So you've got the tiny ones at the top and then they get larger and larger as they come to the foreground. We're not going to copy that exactly, but we're just using it as an idea. So a couple of little tiny ones up there and then lots of stalks. As you can see, lots of grassy stalks. Put lots of those on. Most of these will get covered up by others in the foreground. And it doesn't matter if they don't stick down totally. If they, if they lift a little bit, that actually adds to the effect. So put lots of those on. And then a few flowers and one or two of these interesting bits. <laughs> Sticky stuff like that to add to it. Right. And then when you've built up the ones at the top, you can start adding larger ones, which look as though they're a bit closer to you. And you might notice that I've put the same sort of paper in the same area because you get that on the on the meadow. You'll see the same colours in the same area. There's some of that fried egg look that um, we cut out earlier. So where do we have that? Somewhere there, I think. Okay, and then eventually we'll build up some big ones. Now, I thought that print on there might be quite interesting, but now I put it on, I'm not so sure, so I'm going to put it to one side and use a plainer one beauty of this you can change your mind there we are so 
okay, I'm going to go and build up and build up, um, adding more and more stalks and leaves and flowers. I've got to. Lots of flowers on, lots of stems and leaves, and I'm just going to add a few more. You can see that I've concentrated the same colours in the same area. So I've got lots of this sort of turquoisey green here, lots of light green there, lots of reddish colours there, because those are the colours that I can see in here, you know, the sort of reddish colours there, the turquoisey. So I'm using that as a guide, but um, you can plonk anything down really. I put some of the big flowers in at the bottom here and I think I probably need one more large one down here somewhere but I don't want to overcrowd it so I'll probably put that like that. thing is if you don't like it you can just peel it off again um, which is what I did with some of these. I, I'd used these um, golden ones and I just didn't feel that they were right but what I did like were all these little Marilyn Monroe faces. So I've kept those and I'll probably call it um, Buttercup Meadow with Marilyn. <laughs> Meadow with Marilyn, how's that? just about finished. Put these extra bits on there. So I like these. There we are. No, oh, there I think I'll have that over the front of that. I like the way that these sort of flop a little bit. So There's your collage, Buttercup Meadow. There we are. I hope you have fun making one. <laughs>